Back Families to 18, Lesson 2.11. We can use fact family triangles to help us subtract. You might see a couple of different types of fact family triangles. You might see them with a plus and then a comma and a minus in the middle with a little dot on the top. Well, that dot tells you that's the sum and you can do addition and subtraction with this one triangle. Or you might see it like this, where this large number on top is the sum and there's two smaller numbers down here. You can use this for addition and subtraction too. The top number is the sum for an addition fact family triangle, or it's the minuend for a subtraction fact family triangle. We have 13, 7, and 6, don't we? So we can make this fact family with the 13, the 7, and the 6. We have 7 plus 6 equals 13, or they can trade places and be 6 plus 7 equals 13. The sum becomes the minuend for a subtraction sentence. 13 minus 6 equals 7, or 13 minus 7 equals 6. And that's our fact family. Two addition sentences and two subtraction sentences. So remember that in an addition sentence, this 1 and this 3 are the add-ends, and that's the sum. That's what it equals. And in a subtraction sentence, the first number here is the minuend, this is the subtrahend, and the three, that would be the difference, that's the answer. It's called a difference, all right? So let's take a look at some fact families that go up to 18. We have a 17 on the top, so we know that's going to be our sum, or that's going to be our minuend. We've got an 8 and a 9, those are going to be our add-ins for an addition fact family number sentence. So we have 8 plus 9 equals 17, or 9 plus 8 equals 17. For the subtraction sentences, we have 17 minus 9 equals 8, or 17 minus 8 equals 9. They switched places up here for addition, and they switched places over here for subtraction. Let's look at this one. We've got a 14 on the top, so that's going to be our sum for the addition sentences and our minuend for the subtraction sentences for the fact families. We've got 5 plus 9 is 14, or 9 plus 5 is 14. We've got 14 minus 9 equals 5, or 14 minus 5 equals 9. For 14, we have a 14, a 6, and an 8. So for our addition sentences, we're going to have 6 plus 8 equals 14, or 8 plus 6 equals 14. They switch places. Then our sum becomes the minuend for the subtraction sentences. 14 minus 8 equals 6, or 14 minus 6 equals 8. For 13, we have a 13, a 4, and a 9. So 4 plus 9 equals 13, or 9 plus 4 equals 13. And 13 minus 9 equals 4, and 13 minus 4 equals 9. They just traded places, didn't they? And the sum became the minuend. And look at this one. We have a 16 on the top, so that's our sum or our minuend. We've got a 7 and a 9. 7 plus 9 equals 16, or 9 plus 7 equals 16. And then 16 minus 9 equals 7, and 16 minus 7 equals 9. See the family they created? Two addition, two subtraction sentences. For 15, we have a 15, a 7, and an 8. 7 plus 8 equals 15, or 8 plus 7 equals 15. 15 minus 8 equals 7, or 15 minus 7 equals 8. For 13, we've got a 13, a 5, and an 8. 5 plus 8 equals 13, or 8 plus 5 equals 13. 13 minus 8 equals 5, or 13 minus 5 equals 8. This is our last one. We've got a 15 and a 6 and a 9. 6 plus 9 is 15. 9 plus 6 is 15. And the sum becomes the minuend in front in the subtraction sentences. 15 minus 9 equals 6, and 15 minus 6 equals 9. It's like everybody gets a turn, right? Sometimes we need two equations. 
which is two number sentences to find an answer. And Lisa has 15 books, and Emma has nine books, and Tala has two more books than Emma. So how many more books does Lisa have than Tala? So we have three people, Lisa, Emma, and Tala. And they all have a different amount of books. We need to find out how many more books Lisa has than Tala. So we're going to need two equations. Our clue words are more and how many more. And we can circle our important numbers, can't we? We've got a 15. We've got a 9. We've got a 2. More than. And how many more? Those are important, aren't they? The first thing we need to do is to find out how many Tala has. If Emma has 9 and Tala has 2 more than Emma, then we do 9 plus 2 equals 11. So that tells us that Tala has 11. That's 2 more than 9. Now that we know Tala has 11, we can figure out how many more books Lisa has than Tala, because we know Lisa has 15 and Tala has 11. So we do 15 minus 11. That's four books, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, that's four. So Lisa has four more books than Tala. She has 15, Emma has nine, and Tala has 11. So we needed two equations to help us solve this one. We needed to solve this middle one first and set the information aside that Lisa has 15 books and wait before we use that information. We solved this first, then we used that first information from up here in the subtraction sentence to find out our answer. We made sure we labeled it as books. So those are fact families to 18, and I hope everything is okay and I hope you're doing well. And I'll see you in the next video. See if you can use some fact family triangles to help you do addition and subtraction. Bye.